Um, why no guidance at this point then if you are seeing good current trading? Well, we, you know, the guidance problem is, is really around market. And, you know, if, uh, as you know, the, the, the COVID cases are up, you know, all over the world. Um, and when we withdrew guidance to the original part of the year back in April, uh, was for the same reason. And that was just, it's very difficult to tell right now what the markets are going to do. Uh, we think the markets are roughly 85, 90% of, of where they ought to be for us. Um, but it's very hard to tell whether they're going to continue forward and get back to normal or whether they're going to go sideways on us or even, you know, take a step back. I think, you know, suspect that they're going to be fine uh, going forward over the long haul. Um, but really, it's hard to tell when that when that takes shape. Obviously, the second quarter very challenged by the hospital and surgery centre shutdowns. Um, we seem to be managing the current rise in infections a whole lot better. Does that imply that ultimately implantables and consumables, those two areas that were most directly affected, are likely to be more encouraging across the rest of the quarter and into next year? I think so. I mean, I, I think that what you're seeing now is people adapting to the environment. Um, the, this, this, the cataract business for us and the retina business uh, for us, these are significant eye disorders that really do deserve surgery and relatively imminent surgery. So I think people are getting used to how to manage that. And I think we'll see you know, steady market growth, whether we get back again to where we have been in the past and we should normally over a long haul see growth in this category. Um, you know, we'll just have to see how that takes shape. But that part of our business, I think, is certainly long term, you know, very fundamentally sound. Can we just talk about the core margin development from here? Obviously, there was some impact from FX, but in terms of where you think margin at the core level is likely to go going forward, are you going to take back some of that margin that you lost? Yeah, I think, look, we, we, we continue to believe that uh, as revenues grow back, you know, we will begin to lean into spend. But I think the fourth quarter profile of last year is probably the the kind of directional profile we'll see, you know, for this next quarter. And then going forward, we'll just kind of have to look and see how the market does. And if the surgical and vision care markets are back solid and revenue is growing, we will lean into spend. We're going to continue to spend on R&D. Uh, but importantly, you know, we're going to uh, toggle our uh, SG&A spending, you know, with the market uh, evolution. So like we did this year, we'll be disciplined if it's down. Um, but again, if it's up, we're going to lean into that.